Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to Hasibul Economics. Friends, today I received a message from one of my viewer. He asked me about this component. This component is four terminal device. It have output side and it have input side and it have marking 10 ampere 220 volt that means it is some power device some power component it have input negative and positive and here it have negative and positive that means it is a dc component and its part number is jgx 1572f what is this we will discuss in detail and what's its structure and its function this side upper side is output side and lower side is input side let's start lr it is company light relay enterprise ssr solid state relay a relay as we know a relay is electromechanical component that have a coil that have armature mechanical contact which makes electrical connection between two poles but here there is no electromechanical component here is electronic component like a relay it have a control circuit in electromechanical relay we have winding control winding that is used to make connection between the output terminals but here we have electronic circuit that is sensor or we can say it is its function is very close to uh, optocoupler as optocoupler in optocoupler we use led and in the output side we have transistor but in ssr there are diac triac scr so that means it can be designed for dc circuits or it can be designed for ac circuits it drives power loads so power load power drive circuit is totally isolated from input drive circuit like a optocoupler from control side it have control voltage when the control voltage are applied to input side it will allow to flow the current in the load when the input is applied it will control the output load now our lamp is on we can control a motor we can control a lamp anything any load it can drive i applied voltage when the control control circuit is active it will allow to flow the current in the load when the control voltage are removed it will turn off model is lrssaa ac solid state dc solid state and voltage regulators in ac solid state it have different load voltage 28 to 285 volt or 336 to 530 volt and the second category here is da model da model is used to drive this type of voltage 28 to 285 36 to 530 different range and in dd dc solid state relays 50 volt 100 volt 300 400 50 to 50 600 700 800 different ranges and then we have a voltage regulators lr ssvr solid state voltage regulators so it have load voltage and load current here are the current values and dielectric strength insulation between the primary side input side and output side controls control side and output contact so it have two two thousand five hundred volt ac it have insulation and insulation resistance is in mega ohms hundred mega ohms very high resistance control voltage for ac aa series 90 to 265 volt and da series 3 to 32 volt and dc 3 to 32 volt and current is totally 35 20 milliampere 
So that means it needs very little current, very low current to activate the control circuit. So it have on off time in millisecond 0.8 millisecond. Very short time to turn on, turn off, and its number is our required number JDX 1572F that is here. It have different models, different numbers according to the load voltage and load current directions. Load current resistance above DC 5 ampere must be set radiator. If we use load ampere above, if we use load current above 5 ampere then heat sink must be used. What is the difference between electromechanical relay and this electronic relay, solid state relay as it have no mechanical motion, in no mechanical contact in the output side. So it is long life because mechanical relay, electromechanical relay have due to mechanical contacts it makes sparking and this component as it is it have no mechanical contacts it have electronic electrical contact so it is log life just only control signal is applied and its control signal is most of the time is applied from microcontrollers TTLICs CMOS ICs to control the input side and upon receiving the control signal it will allow to contact the load side. Friends I hope so this video is informative for you. If it is informative give a thumb up. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.